I'm Pam on Sunset, and today we're gonna find out how hard it is to make challah bread. What the what? <laughs> Hanukkah is around the corner, and I've been watching a lot of Great British Bake Off, so the two things together made me want to see if I could make bread. Now, challah bread, if you don't know, is a very complicated braided dough that is eaten at a lot of Jewish holidays, so I thought it would be fun to try it. But I'm already scared. Today's YouTube inspiration is Joshua Weissman, and he broke it down pretty easy, so I'm gonna see if I can follow his eye. For today's tutorial, you need eggs, bread flour, instant yeast, vegetable oil, honey, sea salt, and sesame seeds. First thing we have to do is mix some warm water with the active dry yeast. Mix it up, mix it up. And then let us sit for five to eight minutes. Mix our bread flour with some sea salt. This is an arm workout. Next, he put the salt flour mixture into the sand mixer. We're gonna mix this on low. Oh, I have to plug it in first. Hello, now it's working. Next, we're gonna add some honey to the water and yeast mixture. That looks right. I didn't know it was arm workout day. Ugh. Turn this back on low, because the next step he did was to put it in to the mixer. Next, he added two whole eggs and four egg whites. See how good I am at getting the yolk out of here. Uh, a lot of egg. It's a little bit yellow, but it did pretty good. He added a fourth of a cup of vegetable oil. Next, he mixed it on medium high for four to six minutes. I've never made bread before, I'm excited! Instead of there's a little bit of flour at the bottom, to just put some water droplets in, so I'm gonna try that. It worked! I still have two minutes left on my timer, but it definitely isn't sticking to the sides anymore, so I'm gonna stop. Lightly flour your workspace. I'm so excited to eat this. Next, we're gonna lightly grease a medium-sized bowl. Next, you place this in your greased bowl, and you cover it with a damp towel, and set aside in a 75-degree room for an hour. Alexa, start a timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. Now that it's been sitting for an hour, you fold it over one edge, repeat it all the way around, and then Put the towel bag on, went back to night night, and it slept for another hour. Night night. Can I go to sleep? Can I nap for an hour? If you've never heard of challah bread before, there's different number of strands, and we're doing a four strand challah bread. I think that's probably one step above three because I haven't had a braid three pieces of hair. So we're getting to the hard part very soon. But first, we have to make sure that our dough is risen correctly. Oh yeah! And next, we oh, put it onto our lightly floured surface. And then we're gonna cut this into four pieces. He actually weighed his. I don't think I'm gonna go that far because I don't have a way to do that, but I'm trying to make them even. You take each piece and fold it into an oval shape. And then you take the top and the middle Shape. And you repeat. Then you let this rest for another 15 minutes under its blanket. Alexa, stop. It's been 12 minutes. Ooh, those look pretty good. Our next step is to roll out each piece to about 13 to 14 inches long. And they should look relatively similar, so that's the part that's scary. This part seems similar to when I made gnocchi, which I made a few years ago. That was the part where you had to do this. Oh, uh, 13 inches seems long. What about 10 inches? Oh my god, we get it to 10 inches. Serious arm workout today, guys. I wasn't kidding. They're not exactly even, but I did the best that I think I'm gonna be able to do. So I'm gonna move on to the next step, which is the braiding. Ah! And you connect them. So I'm gonna try and even out my pieces a little bit. Then I'm gonna use my phone and literally follow his directions because it's a little confusing. All right, now we have to pinch. I think 
I did the hard part, guys, I think. Next, we're going to brush it with an egg wash, which is just one egg and a tablespoon of water mixed together. Next, we're gonna spray a sheet and move the bread. I think really he uh, probably moved the bread before to put the egg wash on. Not sure. Whew. Next, we put it in an oven that is not on except for the oven light for two hours. Seriously, I'm not patient enough for this bread. Every 40 minutes, you do have to add some more egg wash, so make sure that you do that as well. Two hours later, it's so dark outside. Our next step is to take our bread out of the oven and poke it, and if it springs back, it's ready to get sesame. Spring it back. Bring it back. Preheat your oven to 375. We gotta cook this sucker. Next, you have to sprinkle on your sesame seed. Next, you put the loaf in, and you immediately put the temperature down to 325. Then you cook for 45 minutes till about golden brown. All right, our challah bread is almost ready, and I'm so excited! Ooh, look at that golden brown braided goodness. What? I should just give up YouTube right now. Holy freaking cow, I made this. Here are my tips. Tip number one. He said that each piece had to be 13 inches long. I only did about 10 inches long, and I think that this is a pretty good sized piece of bread, so it doesn't have to be exactly 13 inches. Tip number two. I love that I freaking made bread. I hated how long it took. <laughs> it's a whole day long preparation, so be prepared. Tip number three, he used parchment paper, which I was like, eh, I don't need parchment paper, but it is like a little tiny bit dark on the bottom, so if you had the parchment paper, that probably wouldn't happen. I don't want to bite into this pretty. It's really good. Olive bread is usually really sweet, and this is not quite as sweet as I usually like it to be. That's still good. Overall, I would say, this is worth it for the tutorial, but not worth it because it took so dang long. It's really easier to go buy some bread. Make sure you join the Pam Fam. We're real cool. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, Pam on Sunset. Leave a comment down below if you have ever made hollow bread, if you are now intrigued to make bread. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If I can make bread, you can make bread. That's all I'm saying. All right, I'm gonna go eat bread for dinner because this took my entire day. <laughs> Hashtag kidding, not kidding.